like a fracas. Uh, hi, my name is Andy Maley. I'm from 7449 Curtis Avenue, Sarasota. Um, I drove up here with Luella and my friend Larry. Cut me off already. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, <laughs> Thank you. An extra second. Okay. Um, I, uh, I have a master's degree in environmental science, bachelor's degree in environmental science. Uh, uh, 20 years experience in the environmental, in the public sector of the environmental uh, universe. Uh, I represent a, I chair a coalition, an ad hoc coalition that includes, uh, down in the Bone Valley, it includes Physicians for Social Responsibility, Center for Biological Diversity, you heard from Clean Water Action, Food and Water Watch, uh, Waterkeeper Alliance, which is international, of course, Sierra Club, um, and a lot of uh, local outfits as well. And we are, um, we're working on phosphate mining. In the Bone Valley, it's, a, it's, it, it's taken over 800 square miles of Florida land and turned it into a wasteland. Um, property value, I assure you, will plummet. I'm gonna, yeah, I am going to focus on the issue at hand, the consultant idea, but I just want to give you some sound bites. Property, I can come back and defend every last one of these uh, in, under any circumstances. They are all demonstrably provable. Uh, property values will plummet. Now, phosphate mining destroys the economic and ecological functions of land for generations, if not centuries. This is incontrovertible fact. It draws down the water table. There are human health impacts you heard from. We don't really even know the extent of the human health impacts because the EPA and the Departments of Health are too scared to come in and look. The best anybody can do is these uh, sort of lame correlation studies, and they're just totally inadequate. Um, waste production, the r ratio of waste to product is 5 to 1 in phosphate mining. It is astonishing. You know, it's got to go someplace. If you're not going to have a phosphogypsum stack and a factory here that's putting out, um, you know, over a million pounds of overtly toxic waste listed on the TRI, uh, you know, by dilution, so that it meets regulatory standards. That's what, that's what Mosaic does. They make five million pounds of listed toxic waste, dilute it until it meets the regs, and then they shoot it out into the, into the water, uh, just onto the surface of the waters. Um, expect your wells to become contaminated. I'm going to run out of time. I'm going to beg you for some extra time, too, because I did drive four hours to get here. Your community will never be the same. Jobs will be lost forever. Sustainable jobs like agricultural jobs, water-related, recreation-related. Uh, so many small businesses and stores will go down. Um, the, the Bone Valley is like a third world nation included in the heart of the peninsula of Florida. It's the most astonishing thing. I have a PowerPoint. I had hoped to run it, but I was told I couldn't do it. Uh, there, are, there are communities in, in the heartland of Florida that are too poor to afford a grocery store. They can't sustain a grocery store. May I have another minute, please? The four hours in the car. <laughs> four hours in the car. I'm sorry. Um, habitat lost forever. It is not a temporary land use, as the, uh, as the statute says. The, the legislative intent of the Florida statute says phosphate mining is a temporary land use. It is not. It is a net economic loss. It is a net economic loss to the communities. It's a net economic loss to the state and the people of Florida. It is every, the, the pro, I, anyway, I won't even go into the reason, but you just, you can trust me on that. It's not good business for the communities where it exists. Reclamation, required by law since 1975, is not restoration. They put 5,000 bucks worth of, of, of time and, and effort into per each acre. If you've got property and you've had to put in a new driveway or fix a new septic system or something, you know how far 5000 bucks will get you. Phosphate is not the long-term solution to the world's food needs. We need regenerative agriculture, retention and recycling. It's, those are the things, those are the ways of the future. Phosphate is a dinosaur. It's a thing of the past. It's the old green revolution. Its day is done. It is gouging and destroying the countries where it comes from. This is, I think, I have demonstrated just with my little list of sound bites, a deeply complex and really difficult thing to get your arms around. The importance of a competent and highly skilled consultant cannot be overestimated. This will overwhelm your staff. 
it overwhelms everybody's staffs. You know, Manatee County, where I work a lot, Sarasota County has an ordinance against uh, against phosphate mining. Um, but uh, Hardy County, Polk County, like like Luell said, it is the waste county of Central Florida. You got to find out where the stuff is going to go, and you got to consider the ethical impacts of the waste that goes out. I know that you're not doing this because you want to. I know you're doing this because you have to. You have to respond. You're legally obligated to respond to a permit application. I know this is not your idea of a hot time on a Thursday night or whatever night it is. I was in a county commission meeting all day yesterday, too. Um, so, okay, keep the community involved in the process. Please, I beg you. You will get the best information to ensure your legacy for the future if you keep the community involved, the experts and just the regular old people. Have a citizens advisory committee, use it. Have the consultant manage it. Have, you know, obviously the, the applicants at the table too, but have citizens stay involved. Nothing is worse than cutting your citizens out of a process like this. I will be the first volunteer for your citizen committee. I will come up here. I am something of an expert in phosphate mining. I will volunteer my time to come up here when you need me to participate in those meetings. And I have a very good friend who has a six-seat Cessna, a beautiful little high-wing plane, flies it out of Tampa. We can come up here, pick you up, take you for a ride over the phosphate mines, and you can see for yourself what they do to the communities. Where they